Hey everyone, it's Byron again to testify for Jesus Christ. Over the past several days, I've been contemplating um, how to put together the next video I'm going to do. Uh, and then suddenly, it seems like the urgency was to just produce this one right here as a warning uh, that something may be helpful for people who aren't aware of some things. Um, currently, in the United States, I have heard, and I have not watched any news, um, I'm, I've just merely heard and then seen uh, titles for news clips. Um, I don't know details, but currently there's a lot of shootings going on around the United States. A lot of people have been injured and hurt. And <clears throat> I just want to share real quickly um, some of the things the Lord has shared with me, and I'll do it in brief. Um, but and also some of my feelings toward some of these shootings and things. First of all, um, there are there's gun confiscations coming to the United States, right? Having said that, I just want to mention a few videos. I'm not going to write um, the titles up here, but I, I just want to mention a few that I've done in the past of when things the Lord has shown me these things. Um, I did one called Gun Confiscation in America by Obama, and in that particular one, Obama helped me hide a pistol then after he walked away immediately government agents showed up to find it on okay there was another one <clears throat> um, gun charges and tracking devices and in that particular one um, you know those CPAP machines where you sleep with I've got one of those anyway I, I had that in a classroom with me that was used to find where I was located to do a search for weapons in my vehicle and I was charged for having weapons in my vehicle uh, for that. There was another one I just titled it Gun Confiscation Dream. And in that particular one, a man parachuted into my location. I had a shotgun. Another man had a shotgun, and we were going hunting. He parachuted in, and then he started going through some formalities and things, such as checking our guns and potentially going to take them. While he was doing that, I saw three helicopters flying around. One had a sling or slung Humvee under it. And I knew as he was doing this that he had support from them. So had I offered any resistance, I would have been overwhelmed by force. Either, you know, the Humvee would have ran me down. Uh, the soldiers that were in the helicopters would have, you know, found me in the wood line or whatever. Uh, and then obviously the helicopters have a bird's eye view of what's going on. So then I had another dream where there was house-to-house -house inspections by government people. They came to my house, were doing full-fledged house-to-house government inspections. Now, recently, I did a video, and I talked about the sword. And I, I, I talked about how we can use a sniper rifle in modern day, like a, like a sword, and in old days. And... Um, I forgot the name of the video I did. It's, it's very recent. He's got the one where we I did a Mississippi River thing. Um, let me just see if I can find it real quick. So that it, counter sniper operations. I did it four days ago. Anyway, in in that particular video, um, I used a. I, I knew I needed to have a, a sniper rifle, and I equated that to having the sword or the spirit of God. You know, in the old days. I want to mention one other video. Should we get into a situation here in the United States, or even if you're in a situation in the world, um, you need to understand and remember these things. Jesus is going to be with you always. It doesn't matter if somebody takes your personal defense or not. Um, it's not like we have to draw a line in the sand and necessarily uh, be combative. Okay, um, I don't think any of the apostles were combative at the time that they were martyred. Okay, but I also believe that there's a reason to have personal defense. But when you're overwhelmed by odds, you know what's, you know. But anyway, in this one other video, it's called "Lethal Testimony." Four men had surrounded me, and they were literally walking me outside in order to give me a good old butt whooping, you know. Uh, and when we got outside into this parking lot. I started testifying for Jesus Christ, just telling them all that Jesus had done. They fell over. 
beside me. All four of them just fell out as if I had just punched them all out. Then I turned and looked, and there was probably 13, 14 vehicles down the row of cars where people were standing by them. All of them had fallen out. So my testimony for Jesus laid people that were threatening me out. And I, I, just, I just say that because that's a dream that I had. And that's something that I want us to each remember, man, as times change, as we begin to see things happen in our life and it's for real. Uh, and it's not something that we're used to. It's not something, it was something that we know could come to pass and it may in our lifetime. You just remember Jesus Christ, and you just remember that you know we are uh, we overcome Satan, Lucifer, that old devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And I I, I know in that particular one that it's a video called Lethal Testimony. I overcame the the assailants that were coming at me, and anybody that was close to me by my testimony for Jesus Christ. I don't know how that would look in real life. Maybe that's kind of figurative that I saw, but it'll look that way uh, in some shape, form, or fashion. So we uh, we be prepared for what's coming. Uh, we we're not we shouldn't be uh, take these things shouldn't take us by surprise. We know things in the United States are changing. I, I, I've actually seen dreams from the Lord where Christians and myself included were taken and whipped in front of large crowds and I knew people that were in the audience there were people I went to church with they were enjoying seeing Christians persecuted so these things are coming they're coming you know <laughs> anyway I, I just felt the urge to, to 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 share this in case you haven't heard that approach um, we have a way of protecting ourselves and that is through the spirit through Jesus Christ. So when we are defenses, we are not defenses. We have a testimony and it's lethal, just as I described there. One other thing I want to say is, um, as these things come to pass, remember, if you'll just check into Manchurian Canton, Canada, there are people who are trained to do things. They may not be conscious that they're trained to do them. So some of these shootings, etc., cetera, um, they could be using controllers could be using people um, to bring about a circumstance that would bring a nation to the point where just take our guns, you know, that a Manchurian candidate could do that uh, right there as well. Uh, and I have one other dream I just want to mention. It's called Obama event 2016. I had a dream two and a half years before an event and I knew that an event was going to happen in this particular month. I think it was June, 2016. And lo and behold, the shooting that happened in the nightclub down in Florida, it was like a, I think it was a gay lesbian type bar, homosexual type deal. There was a shooting down there in 2016. That was the event, you know? So I waited two and a half years to see that come to pass and it did. Um, so that was a planned deal. So anyway, hey man, just remember, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. We, we don't overcome by physically um, doing things that cause us to overcome. This, this is not about the first death. This is about the second death. <laughs> so, hey amen. Love you all. Uh, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And uh, I'll see you all next video. Thanks.